Good morning, guys. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Um, we're going to go ahead and go through those two practice problems um, from Boyle's Law. So a reminder on Boyle's Law, there's an inverse relationship between our pressure and our volume. Boyle's Law states that the pressure of the first gas times the volume of the first gas is equal to the pressure of the second gas times the volume of the second gas. So um, if our pressure goes up, our volume is going to go down, and it's going to go down um, proportionally. So that's our, our inverse relationship. And again, temperature is all constant. So for our first practice problem, um, the pressure of 25 liters of gas changes from 105 kPa. So we start with P1, V1 equals P2, V2. And our pressure of our first gas was 105 kPa. Our volume of our first gas was 25 liters. And then um, the pressure went up from 105 kPa to down to 40.5 kilopascals. And so it's asking what is its new volume? So to isolate our volume of our second gas, we're going to divide by 40.5. Divide by 40.5, our volume, V2, 105 times 25 divided by 40.5 is going to be the 3 sig fig 64.8 liters. There's our volume of 2, 64.8 liters. So if you look, um, our pressure was a little bit more than half, which means our volume should be a little bit more than double. All right, 64.8 liters is your final answer. All right, um, for number two, I'm going to use P1, V1 equals P2, V2. Again, temperature is held constant. And our second problem says, Sorry about that. A gas with a volume of uh, 4 liters at a pressure of 205 kPa. So 205 kPa at 4 liters is allowed to expand to a volume of 12 liters. So if we look here, our volume, so this is our P1. V1, P2, V2. If we look at our volume, it was tripled to 12, which means our pressure should be 30. Should be 30. Um, sh our pressure value should be about a third, or exactly a third of this. So we're going to divide by 12 to isolate P2. Divide by 12. 205 times 4 divided by 12 will be equal to your pressure. And you're going to get an answer of 68.3 kPa is your final answer. So if we look at our pressure, our, our volume was tripled, but our pressure went from 205 all the way down to 63.8. So it was thirded. Um, and that's that inverse relationship we're talking about. Okay? Um, so check your work. Make sure you're doing all right with these. Um, pretty simple to solve. So.